Welcome to the Line Array Calculator 3 feature update video for version 3.5. This quick overview will highlight the new key features and improvements introduced in this update. LAC 3.5 supports the latest products in the VTX lineup. This includes the all new VTX B28 dual 18 inch subwoofer, along with several accessories, including the B28 suspension bar, B28 ground stack accessory, and the B28 vertical transporter. We've also added support for the V20 base plate and the A12 base plate. Within ground stacked array mode, we've introduced a new algorithm that checks for the overall stability of ground stacked arrays. The new engine takes into account the number of cabinets, splay angles, and accessories to let you know if an array is a potential tip hazard or if you're violating any mechanical safety limits. When it comes to building venues in LAC, many users enter their venue planes using standard XY coordinates. This format works very well when you have a venue drawing or know the actual dimensions of a venue. There are times, however, when we may not have this information and we may need to quickly gather these measurements in the field using a laser measurement tool like a rangefinder. For creating planes with this kind of data, the distance versus angle method is ideal. While both of these methods have been part of LAC from the very beginning, we've made it a little easier to switch between modes by adding this new button here. Now you can enter the venue's planes in distance versus angle and quickly switch to XY to clean up and verify dimensions to ensure the results make sense and align with your expectations. With your planes defined, we can now define the type of plane that you have drawn. A new virtual plane type has been added, allowing you to draw in reference architecture or objects into the venue. Objects like thrust and satellite stages, columns in a convention center, or video screens are useful as virtual planes. To change a plane's type, simply highlight the plane and choose the appropriate plane type. Unlike seated and architectural plane types, virtual planes do not block the SPL coverage prediction. This helps to visualize the interactions of these elements without having to constantly hide or show planes. All viewports now have a tooltip that follows the cursor, indicating the precise XY coordinates. This helps to improve your awareness of where something might be within the venue. In mapping mode, a left click in the viewport brings up the tooltip, and in SPL mapping mode, the predicted SPL is also indicated, helping to identify a specific SPL value in a given location. A few changes and upgrades have been made to the main menu. Right-clicking in the recently opened files list presents a few new options. You can now choose to locate a file in the directory it's stored in, or you can manage the files that show up in this list by removing just one or all of the recent files. We've also relocated the project options window to a main menu to allow you to change the file details from anywhere quickly. We have improved the application options menu by making it a floating window instead of being a full screen overlay. This new Apply button allows you to quickly see changes in real time for parameters that you may want to A, B. For example, changes in temperature and humidity. Also in the Application Options menu, we've included this option to disable continuous re-rendering of the SPL auto calculation. This is useful for computers with limited processing resources. When predicting your systems with the SPL mapping mode, we now have the ability to change the resolution of the color banding. We've added several options, including 3 or 6 dB per color, and we can also change the color range the predicted SPL can represent. This R button resets the range back to the default settings. This view change is very useful in distributed subwoofer array mode as it makes identifying general coverage consistency over large areas easier to visualize. The QR code that is generated to transfer the array into the ArrayLink mobile application has a few new exporting options. By right-clicking on the QR code, a new menu allows you to copy the QR code or paste it into an email or messaging program. 
You can also save it as a PNG, JPEG, bitmap, or GIF file. With LAC 3.5, we've also released a new version of ArrayLink to the Apple Store and Google Play Store. This version maintains compatibility and also introduces the new products, including the B28, the new base plates, and other accessories. We've also taken the opportunity to improve folder and file organization by enhancing the way files and folders are displayed and adding sorting functionality. The app's internal noise generator and inclinometer have also been improved to help get your systems up and running even easier. As we continue to improve and refine our software solutions, we encourage you to pass along any additional questions or feature requests. If you would like to find more education resources, please be sure to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and check out jblpro.com edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching.